In a recent unbagging video, I featured these interesting flashing floats. Let me turn one of them on. So this is going to flash. I'll warn you in advance, it's going to flash on and off. Not too intrusively, though. It's worth mentioning that with a, a Kodak rechargeable cell from Poundland, with a capacity of about 800 milliamp power, it flashed for about a day. It was pretty impressive. However... Uh, these things are apparently, well, let me show you the, the guts of this one. We've got an O-ring here. We've got another sealing ring here. Uh, stick a AA cell in, screw it in, and it is quite tight to screw up because it really is very, very waterproof. Uh, and when you've tightened up, it flashes the appropriate colour. This one flashes red, or it would flash red if I hadn't already taken the circuit board out of it and taken a picture of it just to save time. Uh, really interesting circuitry. So let me zoom down this and show you the other thing about this. It has this little uh, end cap, which is designed to not rotate, just probably to make it easier to get open. And when you push that little clip down, it reveals these rather ferocious looking barbs. And the idea is that if you throw this into the sea where there's lots of squid, the squid will come up for the flashing thing. They apparently are attracted to it and they will try and eat it and then they get hooked and then you pull them up and then you fry them after you've sliced them into little calamari rings. Interesting. But let me show you the circuitry here. So I'll just bring that on right now. Here it is. So my initial thoughts in the circuitry was that this was a dedicated chip just designed to flash these things. I was quite surprised at three pins. I was expecting something like the little solar chips that you can program a flashing rate into. But we do have a 100 micro Henry inductor. We have a little smoothing capacitor basically across the LED. And I took the LED out. I initially thought it was just a standard LED, but it's not. Let me grab a lithium cell here and put it across the lithium cell. This is the red one. Oop. And if I hold it across, you'll see it is a flashing LED. And it turns out that this circuitry here is a little 5-volt boost regulator. And it's create, using the inductor to actually generate 5 volts across the capacitor. And then it just powers a standard flashing LED. And that immediately means that with a modest amount of space in here, you could fit a bit of extra 5 volt circuitry in. Think little microcontrollers. You could make a nice little waterproof thing. Now, it's worth also mentioning that it's got this coloured ring that goes in, and then the circuit board with the LED goes into it. Noting that on the back of the circuit board, there is a positive connection, um, and then an outer negative ring, and the spring at the bottom of this that makes the connection to the negative comes up to just a little wire hook that's hooked over here. And when you screw it together, that's what actually makes connection with the back of the circuit board when it's screwed in. Um, this has lots of provision. It's got a provision for a resistor for this, what I think is an LED position, but not for these other ones. It makes me wonder, were these designed to have multiple LEDs? Like, say, for instance, these ones are directly across the 5 volt supply, but this one has that resistor, and it made me wonder, could these be for a blue flashing LED, a green flashing LED, and maybe a... Uh, red flashing LED and they put a resistor in series because it's got a slightly lower forward voltage or it could just be because uh, they also do it with a 3.3 volt regulator or 3 volt regulator even and just drive the LEDs directly. There is also the provision to use a through hole inductor instead of the surface mount inductor and also this capacitor can also be replaced with a through hole capacitor. They've basically covered every avenue here. Let me show you the schematic. It's not a complicated schematic. I shall just zoom in on this a little bit. One moment. It is zoomed. Now, the chip is marked C50H. Is that just a code? The nearest standard one I could find was BL8536, which is a pin-compatible one. So there's the AA cell, and it goes straight to the inductor, which is 100 microhenry. That then goes to the unit, which then effectively powers itself via the inductor to actually run, um, then pulses that inductor down to the zero volt rail. I'd guess at that point then it's using the um, charge in this capacitor, because initially the current will potentially go through a little diode in here and charge that capacitor. But um, once it starts boosting, it then monitors the voltage there until it reaches 5 volts and then cuts back and just keeps this capacitor topped up to 5 volts. Quite a surprising little chip, especially in such a tiny SOT23 package. Very bare bones. Normally you'd expect these little 
buck regulators or bush regulators to have quite a high pin count, you know, maybe a six or five or six pins SOT 23. But in this case, it's just the standard transistor package. And then that's going straight out to the blue flashing LED or whatever color you want, even color changing LEDs, which I presume that are available in this range as well. But it's very interesting. And the fact it is a regulated 5 volt supply does hint at possibilities of using it for other circuitry. But there we go. It's a humble squid hook, but it actually has a surprising element of complexity. And the runtime is very impressive. Without the barbed hooks in the end, it is very viable just to use rechargeable cells um, or just disposable cells and get the versions that don't have the huge barbed hooks in the end and literally just maybe get a couple of dozen of them and just for an event just hang them from trees just so you've got sparkling points of lights in the trees without having to run any cables around like that quite interesting very surprising circuitry inside particularly with the dedicated little tiny 5 volt regulator and um, certainly a very long runtime from my test with a standard AA cell very impressive <laughs>